One thing that you can do is to calculate your ecological footprint. Ecological footprint. Okay, so what's that? Basically, it's a way of calculating your impact on the planet. So it, you take into consideration how much energy you use, the um, products that you consume, and also the, um, the land that is required to absorb your garbage, absorb your pollution. It's a way of taking into consideration all of these things and it calculates a number. So there are many websites you can go to to calculate your ecological footprint. And the reason I think it's good is because in the process of calculating you have to enter all of these little ways that you contribute to problems such as climate change. You have to enter in how much time you spend in a car, how much time you, uh, time you spend um, using up fossil fuels, how many appliances that you use, all of these little things that add up. So in that process you calculate, oh this is how much of the Earth's resources that I use, but also you can find ideas for how to reduce your footprint. One of the most important things is reducing the garbage you put out. So for example, I always bring my hashi when I go out to eat. I always bring my suito. I don't use any um, bottled water, which produces waste after you use it for about 15 minutes. So it's all of these little things that add up. And once you've calculated your own ecological footprint and you can try in your own personal way to reduce that, you can use it in your classroom. You can use it in your office. You can use it to calculate what the ecological footprint of your friends and family is. And in this way, you can start working towards goal, goals to reduce it. And kids, you're very important. You have a very big power with a very important group of people, your parents. And I meet so many adults who say, the only reason that I recycle, the only reason that I carpool is because of my kids. They harass me. They tell me, oh, mom, dad, you have to be better to the environment. And that's why I do it. So kids have a very important role to play. And adults, you are role models for your children. And it's for your children, which is the reason why we should care about what we are doing to our natural resources, to the air, to the water that we need to survive. So we all have a very important role to play. And I hope that you'll take it seriously and realize, it, realize that even right now, you're changing the world.